If that day helped to fill some wounds as a matter of debate. For some it came none too soon, others far too late. I found myself hoping, as the boys went marching past, that for them this war was over at last. Oh, welcome home, boys, welcome home. Don't you know you've been gone too long? What you went through in Vietnam, we can't begin to understand. To each and every boy, welcome home. Oh, welcome home, boys, welcome home. Don't you know you've been gone too long? May the years give you release. May you find some kind of peace. May you find some kind of peace, welcome home. May you find some kind of peace, welcome home. Thanks. You want her, you need her, and yet you don't believe her when she says her love is dead. You think she needs you. Stand before you, commissioners The truth I swear to tell Tell me who's at fault, who's liable Am I to blame as well? How could I trust their promises? When each day brought new hell There was no one there To speak for her But I knew all was not well The boy ran away to the city From his home at the harvest time There were Scots of the Riverina And to run from home was a crime The old man burnt his letters The first and the last he burned and scratched his name from the Bible while the old wife's back was turned. A year went by and another. There were calls from the firing line. They heard that the boy had enlisted, but the old man made no sign. His name must never be mentioned on the farm near Gundagai, a Scot of the Riverina, with ever the kirk hard by. The boy came home on his final. The township's bonfires burned. His mother's arms were around him. But the old man's back was turned. The daughters begged for pardon till the old man raised his hand, a Scot of the Riverina, who was hard to understand. The boy was killed in Flanders, where the best and bravest die. There were tears in the Graham household and grief in Gundigai. The old man ploughed at daybreak, the old man ploughed to Lamerc. There were furrows of pain in the orchard when the family went to the Kirk. The hurricane lamp in the rafters dimly and dimly burned and the old man died at the table while the old wife's back was turned. Face down on his bare arms folded, he sank in his wild grey hair, outstretched or the open Bible and a name rewritten there. Henry Lawson, thank you. <laughs>
The lady that wrote this poem called Kim Eitel was first diagnosed with cancer at the age of 38. After two years after having her chemo and radiotherapy, she wrote this poem with the attitude, things, bad things happen in life, but you can always find a way to laugh about it. Jolly Melons. I guarantee you haven't heard a yarn like this before. And some folks, when they hear it, end up laughing on the floor. See, boobs get called a lot of things like melon, jug or breasts. Some ladies just have moddy bites, while some are truly blessed. But anyone with boobies is a candidate, you see, since one in 10 get cancer, and that lucky one was me. They told me I had cancer. Don't be worried, I'm okay. I wasn't sick, didn't hurt. The cancer's gone away. I had to get one boob removed, that's what the doctor decided, and one was there and one was gone. I looked a bit lopsided. I got an artificial boob, voluptuous and round, and now I look just like before, but one thing I soon found. I didn't buy the proper bra, my first prosthetic sin. They need a special pocket, see, to keep the rascal in. <laughs> I...